Hello everyone, welcome back to High Mathematics, happy to see you here and today I have a really interesting problem, algebra problem today. We have that a plus b equal to 1, a square plus b square equal to 2 and we need to find a to the 8 plus b to the 8. On the first side the answer is a because right here first power, right here 1, right here square, right here 2. So it looks like 8 but it's not like, an, it's not the easy way to solve it, we need to solve it step by step. First of all, I want to show you how to solve it step by step. First of all, take a look closely. We have a to the fourth power plus b to the fourth power. I try to find this a, a to the eight plus b to the eight. I try to find it with the formula. So first of all, I write this a to the fourth plus b to the fourth. If we raise this to the square, we have that a to the fourth squared plus b to the fourth as well squared and plus 2 a to the fourth times b to the fourth. This is a classic formula, a plus b square. But if you look closely to this, we have a to the fourth squared is our, our case, because this is our a to the eighth power. Right here, b to the fourth squared, this is our b to the eight. So we need to find the sum, and right here we have plus element. So this sum we can easily express from this formula. So how can we express this? Of course, this goes right here. We have a to the 8 plus b to the 8, completely that we need right here, equal to a to the fourth plus b to the fourth squared and minus 2. I write it as a b to the fourth power, a b to the fourth power. So this is the main step that I want to mention. This is the rule that we really need right here. This is a really good formula in our case. This is a really good moment right here. So why I write this? Because I try to express this a to the 8 plus b to the 8. And as you can see, we express this in a really good way because we have 4th power, we have square. So it's not like a 6th power, it's not like an 8th eight power right here. And right now let's go closer and closer to this to this answer. Let's find this element. We need right here a, b. We need 4th power, the sum of a, b to the 4th power. We need this element. Let's find it step by step. First of all, I want to raise a plus b squared. Let's find this element a plus b squared. If I raise this, I will have a square plus b square and plus 2ab. And take a look closely why I write this. Because a plus b we have right here. a square plus b square we have right here equal to 2. So right here 1, right here 2. And from here we find our product a times b, which we really need in our in our answer. So we have one square one. Right here I bring this two on the left minus two equal to two a b, two a b. And it's not hard to see that minus one equal to two a b. Then a b equal to minus one half. And finally we find our first element, first element to our answer. So this is really good. We find a b equal to minus one half. But the main difficulty is with this element because we have the sum of four fourth power. How, how can we get closer and closer to this answer? Of course, if we raise square to the square power, we have fourth. But how can we get closer to this? Of course, let's write a square plus b square raises to the square power. What we have as a result? If we raise this, we have a to the fourth plus b to the fourth and plus 2ab square. I write it in that way. So, but if you look closely to this, this is a classic formula, as well as this is a classic formula, this is a classic formula, but I try to get closer and closer to our answer. ab we have right now, and we need to find the sum of a to the fourth and b to the fourth. And if you look closely, we have a to the fourth and b to the fourth right here, and we need it in our answer. And moreover, we have ab right here, which is equal to minus one half, and the sum of squares, and look right here, a square plus b square equal to 2. So as a result, we can easily find our answer, 2 square, we have 4 equal to z that we need, a to the fourth plus b to the fourth, and plus right here we have 2 times 1 fourth, which is equal to, we have this way, so <clears throat> 2 times 1 fourth plus 1 half. So the last step, we need this very, we need this very much. So we need to bring this one half on the left hand side. So four minus one half signals us that a to the fourth plus b to the fourth equal to 
4 minus 1, one half will have 7, 7 half. And finally, we find a really good, really good value right here. And look closely to this. A, B, we know it. And the sum of force power equal to 7 half. So we can easily write it that A to the 8th plus B to the 8th equal to A to the 4th plus B to the 4th, 7 half. 7 half squared. And minus 2 times AB to the 4th minus 2 times, but AB equal to minus 1 half. Minus 1 half to the 4th power. All elements are constant, so we find our answer. We will find our answer. Okay, 7 half squared. We'll have 48 over 4. We raise nominator and denominator minus. We have 1 minus 1 half to the fourth. The final sign we will be plus. Raising both nominator and denominator, we'll have minus 2 times 1 over 16 equal to 48 fourths minus 2 times 1, 1 over 16 will have minus 1 over 8 and final answer it's really close to us because we need to subtract these two elements common denominator will be 8 right here too so 48 times 2 48 times 2 and minus 1 which give us final answer 98 minus 1 over 8 equal to 97 over over 8. This is our our final answer. So I hope you understand this explanation. This is not like an easy an easy explanation. This is not like a, maybe the best explanation, but if you look like two minutes to this explanation, like pause the video and look to this explanation, you will easily understand this explanation because we have difficulties with this element. This is our first really difficult equation. And if you look closely to this, we find in the, this equation, we find our AB. So right here, we find our AB. And right here in this equation, we find our force powers. So A to the force plus B to the force. So three main steps, first step, second step, and the third step. So if you look closely to this, you will easily understand this explanation. This is not like an easy question, but I try to give you the best way how can we solve it. So our answer, our answer, so a to the 8th plus b to the 8th equal to 97 over over 8. This is our, our answer. So as you can see, there's not like 8 right here. We have the bigger numbers at 8. We have like, looks like 12 right here. This is not like a 8 with this logic 1, 2 and 8. This is look like a 12, approximately 12. Okay, this is my solution to this. Thank you so much for watching subscribing i really appreciate it and if you enjoyed this video put a thumbs up i really appreciate it and see you in the next videos have a great day and thank you for watching